today in the topic of ship handling we will talk about the effects of the narrow channel on a ship's passage so before we start with that let's talk about the pressure distribution around the vessel when a vessel is moving through the water she pushes water ahead of her which increases the depth of the water ahead of the vessel and a high pressure zone develops around the bow this is shown in the diagram you can see that the vessel has a pivot point around which the ship pivots then because the vessel's movement the water is being pushed ahead because of which a high pressure zone is being developed denoted by the red crosses and as a result a low pressure zone develops along the back hull of the vessel the streamline of return flow speeds up along the ship sides which result in the lowering of water level and a low pressure zone exists along the ship sides behind the propeller the water is propelled astern and it again increases pressure behind the propeller resulting in a high pressure zone there which you can see that here is the zone behind the propeller where a high pressure zone exists and the same high pressure zone exists towards the forward part of the hull along the ship sides there is a low pressure zone now these concepts will be used in explaining how the vessel experiences the concepts of what you call is a bank suction or a bow cushion effect in open waters the high pressure and low pressure zones extend outwards to the width of the influence and then become equal however when the vessel is in narrow channel and not in the center of the channel the high pressure and the low pressure areas are amplified in the vicinity of the bank which is closer to the ship this is shown in the diagram below the bow is pushed away from the bank and the effect is known as the bow cushion effect any floating effect in the high pressure zone will be cushioned away from the bow the low pressure zone next to the nearer bank is stronger due to high velocity of water passing through it this has a suction effect on the ship and the ship is pulled towards the bank this is known as bank suction effect this bank suction effect is much stronger than the bow cushion due to the larger area of the vessel getting affected by it if no corrective action is taken by the vessel the vessel is likely to collide with the bank the pressure zones become stronger with the speed of the vessel and therefore vessel speed should be reduced and vessel steer towards the center of the channel this is what is shown in the diagram on your screen that because of the larger area of the ship size available in the low pressure zone it gets sucked towards the nearer bank and hence when transiting narrow channels the vessel should be steered or an attempt should be made to steer it in the center of the channel to avoid the effects of bow cushion or bow suction or bank suction all right so in the next video i'll talk about interaction between ships in this video i talked about the interaction between a narrow channel or the banks of a narrow channel and the vessel in the next video i'll talk about how interaction between ships affect the vessel's passage i'll see you soon with my next video guys bye